Sagittarius, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV to bring you your weekly tarot reading. And this is going to be for January 14th all the way to January 21st. So welcome, Sag. All right, let's get the vibes for the week. What are the cards going to tell us? What energies are available to us? How do we navigate this stuff? And what's the advice? We're going to get that and so much more. The cards, they are ready. Let's do this, Sagittarius. All right, let's see what we got for the week. Mm. Okay, I got I to gotta take it. I got to take it. I got to take it. They all came out like that. And I shuffled them pretty good. I was shuffling them before I even hit record. <laughs> all right, how do I do this? Oh, boy. We're going to have to make room. That's all right. Wow, lots of pages here. We got a lot of, lot of, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Sag, man, this is a busy week for you. All fire signs have got it going on. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. We're getting, we're definitely being tested this week, us fire signs. Because I just did Leo's reading and that was... A great reading, however, there was some undertones to it that were just kind of, you know, eh, same with Aries. All right, so what we've got here is the Devil, the Tower, the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Knight of Swords, Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands, and Knight of Pentacles. We've got every knight. Do we? No, we basically almost do. Lots of night energy. These are offers coming in. These are slow and steady wins the race for you, Sagittarius. There is some shakeup at the beginning of the week that's got you kind of fear of failure. It puts your guard up. you got to trust your intuition this week. You really have to do that. We don't want to be tempted to sit into this fear of failure energy. That's exactly what this is. This devil energy is definitely showing us that we're focusing on all the things that are going wrong and not really focusing on what could go right because we've got a lot of ideas. We've got a, a lot of potential here to move towards change and embracing change and slowly starting to plant those seeds of the next phase of your life. I need no clarification for this whatsoever. I mean, this is more than enough than what we need. But I think the crux of it is, is that you've got to let your guard down. You know, you're tired. I understand that. But the universe wants to deliver what it wants to give you. And you've got to sign for the package. You can't leave it at your wall you've built up. You know what I mean? This could be a realization that, you know what? I'm not allowing these things into my life. And then all of a sudden, when you let your guard down and do one after the other, there's ideas coming through. Some of you may go back to school or, or something like that, or moving towards a better job, or just this is building a future. This is getting excited about it. This is embracing change instead of being frozen by the fear of change. So this could be your fear of change needs to be banished and dealt with so you can allow this beautiful energy to come through. A lot of excitable energy, a lot of a lot of irons in the fire, I guess you could say, you know, but this is this is good as long as we get out of the fear of failure, being left out. You're not being left out. Are you building your walls too high? And then you're like, well, no one comes around anymore. Well, because you you built your walls up, you know, you've got to be able to let those down. So that fear of failure is is the, the linchpin here. Once you release that and you stop focusing on all the negative that's happened before and open up to a new future, you're free. You know, you're you're really free. And you can free yourself this week by doing that. All right, that one wanted to come out. Okay, do we have any more messages for Sagittarius about what's going on with this week? Okay, emotional loss, another five. So we're focusing on emotional loss. Don't be tempted to do that. You're going to have a big temptation to sit in some Bella Swan energy. and You don't want to do that, okay? No one's pining over a vampire today, folks, okay? Now, we've got the heart chakra and the base chakra, which is telling us two things here. Number one, keep your heart open. 
If you want this energy to reciprocate and flow, you got to keep your heart open and you have to keep your feet on the ground. This is about being secure, choosing security, building security for yourself. All right, let's get some psychic tarot for the heart and see what they got to say. So this could be emotional loss around a relationship and you feeling tired about, oh God, do I really have to put myself out there again? But you know damn well, if you do, the opportunity is going to come through big time. There's no doubt about that. All right, let's get some more messages for Sagittarius. What do we got? All right. This one they wanted to say, change your focus. We've got another five. So pay attention to 555. Five, five. Those are your numbers for the week. Seek. Go within. Go within and you'll find the answers. Those bluebirds are really sticking out to me. So that may be indicative or something. And another five. So pay attention to the fives. This is your choice. Win or lose. What are you going to choose? What are you going to choose? And it's a matter of the heart too. What are you going to choose this week? To win or to lose? It's your choice. It really is your choice. And all this, this fresh energy coming in, there's change and it's time. It's time for you to open your heart, to seek within, change your focus, let go of the past finally. And, there, and I think with your readings, there has been a progression of you finally letting go of the past. Yeah, look at all the fives we're getting. Holy mo. Look at that. We got the five of swords and the five of wands. Choose your battles wisely. Know when to walk away from them. You know, you're definitely, I mean, one, two, three, four, five fives. Wow. That's like you are you are ready to make this move, and that's good, especially in a relationship. Focus on yourself. See that Empress energy. That's mind, body, and spirit working together. The Queen of Pentacles is the energy of, I win, I do not lose. I am worthy of it and I shall receive it. It's also reciprocating to that base chakra energy, that grounding energy, because it's an earth energy. And then we have the world. Some of you may be dealing in a relationship with a fixed sign that could be a Taurus, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aquarius. So not a Sagittarius, I, I no, it's Scorpio. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius, Sagittarius. So that could be a fixed sign, but you're definitely completing a cycle here and you're choosing to win. And I think that's what all the fire signs are doing this week is choosing to win and keep moving forward and not focusing on all the things that hurt and releasing it, changing our focus and getting our shit together. I mean, you're definitely doing that. With those fives, you're done. You're done. <laughs> definitely done. Not taking no bullshit. All right. What's the messages of love? Play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Maybe some of you need to do that, you know? Different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. So change your focus. Get on your vision. You keep focusing on your vision. If they're not in it, forget about it. Release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. That's what you do when you seek. You find out that, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting a battle here. I don't need to. You know, I've got this. Integrity. Does this situation align with your values and morals? Is it, is it good for you? If this energy isn't reciprocating, move on to something and open up to something that will. Mastery. You've learned the spiritual lesson. When you seek, yes, you really do get the, get the answers. Powerful time for you this week. Good for you, Sag. You deserve it. So there's some big power plays going on in relationships and you letting go and not focusing on losses, but focusing on wins. And when you do that, holy shit. Let's get some closing messages. All right. First is check in. Sagittarius, when you think about whatever it is you're pondering, take a moment to check in with how you feel about it. Do you feel lighter or heavier, excited or filled with dread? Pay attention to your inner guidance. It's always so helpful. Last but not least, choice. 
You're being asked to make a choice that you've been struggling with. It's time to decide which path you're going to take. Listen to your intuition, eliminate everyone else's input, and feel your way into the choice that is right for you. The time is now. What are you going to choose, Sag, win or lose? It's up to you. It's always up to you. Trust your intuition. Make this decision. Check in with your energy. If it doesn't align to you and how you vibe, then it's not for you. And it's okay. It's nothing personal. All right, Sagittarius, that's going to do it for your reading for the week. Thank you so much. Love you all. And of course, I will see you next week.